Hey guys, the common man here. So today you can see I've got another knife, I guess, modification video for you. We're going to be working with the Spyderco Para 3. And those of you who follow along saw that I got the brown canvas micarta from RGT uh, through DLT Trading for my Demco 8020.5. Um, I've gone over that knife. I'm extremely happy with those scales. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. Uh, they feel a lot more premium. They really, uh, I guess, class that knife up, make it feel like it's... Uh, <laughs> A little bit better value now um so i really love those scales and i've wanted to do something with this particular pair of three for quite some time you can see i've got the lynch clip on it which helped out a lot and this is going to be the s30v pair of three so not uh nice not the most recent version this is i guess the slightly older version and you can see it's been well loved and by well loved i mean well used and uh so it needs some it needs some love it needs some attention so let's go ahead and get going. You can see it needs it needs some serious work. So uh, once we get those scales put on, we'll go ahead and try to get this thing tuned up better. Um, like I said, I beat the snot out of this knife. I carry it all the time. So it definitely needed some uh, well-deserved attention. So there's the knife. You can see beautiful pair of three, awesome knife. I absolutely love these things. And then these are the scales, RGT. Like I said, I got this through uh, DLT trading for a pretty good price. So we'll get these out of here. Try to make this somewhat quick. I don't want this to be a super, super long video. I'm sure a lot of you have taken apart a pair of three. We've already done it on my channel sticker. So uh, try to make this somewhat quick. Just another kind of walkthrough of, the, of uh, how to get this thing apart and how to get these new scales on. So right away, these scales, you can see really nice texture i love the look it's not just totally like one flat solid color it's got a lot of different colors going on in there which is really cool i'm really liking that awesome kind of get these set over here for right now i guess first things first we'll go ahead and get that clip off if i remember correctly this should be t6s we'll close that blade so we don't have any accidents Yep, T6 seems to be working. Get all those loose. I'll just lift that off. See if we can keep those screws in there. That usually makes things a little bit easier. They'll probably go rolling around at some point, though. Okay, that's that. We are going to be putting that same clip back on, although I am looking at possibly getting an MXG clip for this one as well. A little bit shorter, maybe... Uh, black, although I do like the kind of stonewashed finish. Go ahead and switch out to a T8. Body screw should be T8. Yep. Like I said, we'll try to make this somewhat short and sweet. You got that spinning barrel back here, which I don't particularly love. We'll see if we can just get that out of there. There we go. Do wish that was captured, and I think I am going to look at getting uh, some kind of a backspacer, maybe a nice titanium backspacer or something, just to help class the knife up a bit and make it so I don't have to deal with that free spinning barrel anymore. That would be nice. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep the washers in the same orientation because I was happy with the action on this knife. It's not perfect, it still needs a little bit of help, but I do want to try to keep things kind of all going in the same direction. So I'm gonna lay everything out as if the knife is right like this and put these screws each on either side. Separate this a bit. All right. You can see this thing is just a mess. It needed, it needed some attention. go lay all those out there since we got this apart we'll go ahead and wipe this up here give it a really good wipe you can use something like acetone alcohol something like that i've found that if i just use a cloth that's got a little bit of uh the oil i like to use is tough glide um if it's got a little bit of oil on there as long as you're not constantly using the same dirty cloth it seems to get things pretty good and clean and you get a nice little coat of oil on everything by using that uh, kind of oil-soaked cloth. 
and I've found it kind of works like a tack rag where it just kind of takes all the uh, dust and things right off the surface. Lay the blade there. Now the fun part's getting these scales off. Hopefully this goes a little bit easier than my uh, 20 CV version. There we go, my goodness. So you're not gonna be able to follow the same procedures to uh, take apart and replace the scales on the Para 3 Lightweight. I do believe there are scales available for the Para 3 Lightweight, but it's kind of like a, kind of a really, kind of a specialty thing as far as I understand. They're not really widely available, I don't believe, but I've seen online people being able to find titanium sets, and I think that would actually be pretty cool, putting a set of titanium scales on a Para 3 Lightweight, but I don't know, haven't really looked into it myself personally. I do, the Para 3 Lightweight is actually one of those knives where I kind of do appreciate the FRN or the, you know, the plastic handle material because it really does make that thing just so lightweight. But anyway, this video is not about the uh, the lightweight ones. They're focusing back on the pair of three here. So I'm going to try to figure out the best plan of attack here. I guess we'll just go ahead and get these my Carter scales pressed on. So what I'm just doing is just lining up this uh, stop pin here. We'll go ahead and give that barrel a little press. I'm just going to, we're going to help it out. There we go. I just used the back end of my screwdriver, gave it a little bit of pressure. I don't see any problem with that. I think that's going to be just fine. Go ahead and kind of do the same thing with the other side. And I actually should be wide enough. Yeah, I should be wide enough to just go right over that hole. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting pressure right down on that hole, kind of centered. And we're just going to go ahead and give it a press. Pretty good press. Let's just make sure things are lined up here, though. I don't want to go breaking anything. Let's see. It's lining up okay, but not perfect. It seems to be... Yeah, there we go. We're going on all right. You do got to be careful, though. I'd hate to... I don't want to snap these scales or anything. I don't know how brittle they are, so I'd hate to put pressure in the wrong spot and end up cracking or snapping them, but I think that's pretty good for now. The screws should kind of draw everything in. I suppose this side, obviously, you don't have the, uh, the pocket clip, so you're not going to have screws to kind of pull that liner in, but it looks like that's seated pretty well. On this side, the pocket clip screws should pull the liner and the uh, scale together to really give it a good final seat. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And I should still have enough wiggle. Yeah, I, I've got enough wiggle to kind of still pull this apart and get the blade set in place. Go ahead and give this a press. There we go. Everything's set in nicely there. Nicely there. You can see it's all in there flush. Perfect. I'll just give it kind of one final wipe because I... Uh, Shouldn't have to take this knife apart again for a while. I, I honestly, I really don't take my knives apart too much. The generally, when I, I, I take them apart when they start to feel gritty or uh, when, when they just start to perform poorly and, you know, with the action, um, that's generally when I take my knives apart. I don't really have, like, scheduled maintenance. I just kind of pay attention to the knife. So if it's a matter of months between times, you know, taking apart a knife, that's that's just the way it is. All right, so if I remember correctly, we had the knife like this. So the blade up pointed at us. So let's go ahead and keep this washer in the same orientation. But we're going to give it a good, good cleaning. Down like that. Go ahead and just drop a couple of drops. That's really more than what it needs. Down there. You know, I think I'm actually going about this. That is way more than what it needs. My goodness. That came out quick. Okay. Let's actually do this. Put this like this. Let's go ahead and set that on there. I don't know. I might be messing up the orientation of this, but that's fine. 
technically it should all still it, it should all still function the same good so that should have oil now on both sides this side does let's see does this side have the d no okay so this is the uh Round side that's going to go into this end here. Just verify. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now I get my greasy fingerprints off of there. Dab, dab. That's more like it. Those are the dabs you want. You don't want, you don't want tons of oil or else you're going to start collecting a bunch of, a bunch of crud. Now this, so that, that little, let's see if we can get it, that little flat there, as I said in the other video, you got to make sure that it lines up with the flat right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this so that it does, and it really, honestly, it would have been easier to put the D in on the other side first, but let's see if we can make this work. If we can't, we'll uh, try doing it the other way. I, th I think we're going to be able to get this just fine. What we can do is kind of... Yeah, let's go ahead and pull this side off. Swing it out of the way. Let's see if we can... That's seated. Okay, so that's seated in there. That's why. As you can see, guys, I need a little more practice working on this knife here. There we go. Now we're in. Yeah, that's a little finicky. All right. So let's go ahead and while it's still together, we're going to set it down there. Let's see what we have the T10 in still. Yep. Perfect. Go ahead and just get. I know this is probably the weirdest method you've ever seen of getting Loctite on a thread, but. That's the way it works for me. Once I get a Loctite stick, or another one rather, I, I keep the Loctite stick in my uh, mechanic tool set. I just need to get another one to keep with my knives. Once I get that, things will be a little bit cleaner. You can see it just kind of makes kind of makes a mess doing it the way that I'm doing it. All right. Obviously not. We need the T8 for this. Perfect. Now remember these body screws. And actually, we need. I almost forgot. We need to put this new spacer in there. Perfect. All right. Just a little more. And I remember also you have to kind of squeeze those scales together to get enough uh, compression on that barrel to keep it from just spinning free. And don't tighten these down all the way just yet. You want to you want to pretty much tune the knife before you tighten those down, and also before you put the pocket clip on. So we're gonna go ahead and give that just a 
initial tightening just enough to get it just kind of snug and we can see that it is very tight very tight so that needs to be loosened Yeah, that's something we can work with. Okay. Go ahead and get that T8 back. Tighten that up. Perfect. These are going to be easiest, I think, to put in individually. We'll save that one since it's kind of hanging out in there. All right, we'll just kind of put it in kind of loosely. And just snug them up. kind of tune on that blade there and get that operating just the way we want it this is the part that usually takes me some time to try to figure out <laughs> off camera generally i end up just kind of playing around with it tightening loosening screws all the way around the knife until i get it tuned just right so i'm going to save you guys uh the boredom that comes along with that. It's not going to be very fun watching me perfectly tune this knife. I'm still working on knife tuning. I struggle with it a little bit sometimes on these spider codes. Um, so we'll get there. But anyway, there it is. So that's the uh, Spyderco Para 3 with the brown canvas micarta scales. I'm, I'm very happy with the looks of this. I think this looks absolutely just awesome. And I actually really love that stonewash clip now. I think I'm going to definitely keep it stonewashed. May still switch to the MXG. But, uh, yeah, that's really awesome. That looks really good, guys. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I, I, this one did drag on longer than I wanted it to, but, hey, whatever. Um, but, yeah, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have these scales, uh, let me know what you think of them. I'm, I'm, I love reading all the comments. And if you want to see more of my videos, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.